Goes to the near side and it is picked off. Norwood. Pick six. Trey Norwood takes it back. Wow, what a start for the Sooners. Coming into this game, Trey Norwood had four interceptions in his last five games, make it five out of six. Watch Trask stare down his intended target, and Trey Norwood, eyes on the quarterback, steps in front, and strolls in the end zone for a second quick Sooner touchdown. Felt that they were a little disrespected after a 9-0 season, and there it is, Lincoln got Riley finally gets the bath that he's been waiting for. His first postseason bowl victory since he's been a head coach and his first win against the SEC and an impressive fashion here tonight, Joe. And now, at this point in time, the Pittsburgh Steelers has said, we want you, Trey Norwood, because we believe you can help us win a Super Bowl championship. That's why they picked him. They've already shown him he can jump high. This way, a run. He's proving that. Now they're saying to him, we want you to be a part of this team because we believe you can help us win a foot, uh, Super Bowl. Not just the game. We believe you can help us win a Super Bowl. Okay. Let me have uh, Jerry Glidewell come and say a few words. Again, we're going to be brief, uh, brief. Trey has a team meeting he has to get to. Well, I just want to say a few words and congratulate Trey, not only Trey, but the Norwood and Bray families for uh, this phenomenal uh, selection by the Pittsburgh Steelers of Trey Norwood, and we're so excited. Uh, I have his stats here from OU, by the way. Uh, he played three seasons for Oklahoma Sooners, 32 games, 111 tackles, six interceptions, a touchdown. His First year there with OU, the team was 12-2, and two, ranked third in the country. His 2018 season, they were 12-2, and two, ranked fourth in the country by the Associated Press. 2019, he was out with a knee injury. In 2020, they were 9-2, and two, ranked sixth in the country in the final Associated Press poll. He, uh, he was MVP, well, he played in the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl, and the Cotton Bowl, and as we all know, was defensive MVP in the Cotton Bowl. He has very strong ties to the Boys and Girls Club. I've got some photos over here of when he played football, basketball, baseball. His father coached at the club. Michael coached at the club. His uncle coached at the club. Michael was the uh, volunteer of the year, I think, in 2016. But the roots run deeper than that. Trey's late grandfather, Michael Norwood, who all, you all know was principal at Kimmins Junior High, he was one time the Boys and Girls Club director in Van Buren, Arkansas. His other grandfather, Garland Hop Bray, has been in the, involved with the club for more than 45 years, not to say you're old, <laughs> as a volunteer that many years, and it is also was inducted in 2010 into the Boys and Girls Club Hall of Fame. So I'm kind of excited to know the fact that he's going to the Pittsburgh Steelers and the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers is Mike Tomlin, who grew up in Virginia and was a member of the Boys and Girls Club in Newport News, Virginia. And not only that, Mike Tomlin was inducted in 2010 into the Boys and Girls Club's of America Hall of Fame. So there are a lot of boys and girls club connections here and we appreciate that. But we also appreciate the coaches at his high school, Coach Fleur, Coach Curry, that are here uh, to help honor Trey today. And I wanted to mention one other thing. The incredible odds for this young man to be drafted into the NFL. Because I had a non-sports fan say to me, well, what's the big deal? You're having a big day for someone because of sports? Well, for you football fans, you probably know. In high school, there's 1.1 million players in high school. 1,100,000 players. Only one out of 16,000 high school players will make it to the pro level. 
one out of 16,000. Only 6%, a little over 6% will play college football. Out of the 72,000 players in college football, only 1.5% will make it to the pro level. So the odds are staggering, and what, that makes this even more special. So for someone to make it all the way from junior high to make the high school team, to play NCAA Division I, and then to be drafted by an iconic football team like the Pittsburgh Steelers, the odds of that, unbelievable. So we all know that they have to have special characteristics to get that far. One, God-given talent. Two, the innate determination and drive to be a great player and to have incredible work habits. And lastly, Coach Belichick says the three common traits of an NFL player include tough, both mentally and physically, smart, making good decisions, having good football understanding and a high football IQ, and dependable in critical situations. You can always count on this player to perform under pressure. Not to mention defensive players, closing speed, awareness, anticipation, versatility. You guys know, the coaches from Northside know all this. They, they talk about this all the time. So, Trey, on behalf of the Boys and Girls Club, we've got a gift bag for you with uh, Boys and Girls Club socks, umbrella, all kinds of goodies in there, a shirt, a cap. So you can remember Fort Smith, Arkansas, when you're in Pittsburgh. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Sign a couple of football. Garland, this was mine. <laughs> We're going to have Trey sign a couple of footballs for us. I don't think there's no man in the country that's got an NFL, two NFL players and an NBA player coming out in one year. That's big time. <laughs> you got that sign, you got your gifts. Uh, at this time, we're going to present the key to the city of Portland, Arkansas. Again, thanks, Trey, for being a shining example of what young men can do when they make a commitment. Thanks to the parents for being a shining example of the role you must play. Grandma and Grandpa, thanks for all you've done. Uh, this time I'd like to present the key to the city of Fort Smith, Arkansas, to Mr. Trey Norwood. So you can just look at right, him right in the middle. Okay, yeah, even if he has yes, any just answer me. Okay. For the angle's sake. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, first things first, can we just get you to stay and spell your first and last name for us? Trey Norwood, T-R-E-N-O-R-W-O-O-D. Awesome, and you are a cornerback from Oklahoma, correct? Correct. All right, so tell us a little bit about your journey up until this point. What's, what's, uh, what's today about to you? Um, just my, my journey um, starting here in, in, in my city, doing it in the boys club uh, where I was introduced to sports um, and then just leading up to now, it just means so much. Being you know, honored and being blessed to um, I mean, the, the gift from the mayor, Mayor McGill, to be presented the key to the city and being able to do it uh, like I said, in, the, in the boys club that I was raised up in from when I was knee high, I mean all the way up to a 22 year old and then also just being able to share this day with my brother as well, um, kindness, you know what I mean, me, me and him. He's, he's a year older than me, but that's, that's like my brother. So I learned a lot from him through college and everything, um, starting from high school, going on up. So just being able to 
share this moment with him and uh, be blessed with this with this uh, you know what I mean a award is it's an honor. Awesome, awesome. Key to the city. I mean, what right. what is that like, man? Um, you know, you you hear a lot of people say you hear it in songs, you hear it here and there, but to actually be presented the key to the city is honestly I, I can't put it into words. Um, I want to give a, a huge shout out and thanks to Mayor McGill um, for presenting that to me and um, to, to Mr. Glidewell and, and the Boys Club just for accepting me as a little kid, you know, helping me grow as a as a, as a young man into to a man that I am today. Um, like you said. Uh, key to the sea. It, it's a. It's not a cliche saying anymore. I can actually let me say that, that I have the key to the sea, and it means so much to me. Yeah. Awesome. And what's it like getting drafted, man, by the Pittsburgh Steelers of all teams, a team that was in or that won 11 games last or won 11 and 0 last year? It's crazy. What, what is that like? It's it's a blessing. Um, that's something that I knew when I was little. You know, I mean, teachers ask you, "What do you want to be in the world?" I want to go to NFL or the NBA. So. I tell people all the time, uh, it's it's not a cliche saying when I say it, dreams to reality because uh, I'm being, being able to have the opportunity to play at the, the highest level, to be playing in the NFL. I want to give a thanks to the, the Steelers organization, the Coach Tom and everybody there for, uh, for drafting me and uh, you know, picking a kid from Portsmouth, Arkansas. So it means a lot to me and I'm excited to get down there and get to work. Awesome. awesome. That's what I was going to ask. Just yeah. the, the support from your town and everything like that. Is that fueling you just to get out there and it stay fuels me. It fuels me each and every day. Um, I, 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 I tell myself I owe it, I owe it to the city uh, to inspire the young ones. Um, just I mean, be, be that role model for them and uh, give them a representation, uh, uh, I mean a physical representation and an idea that, hey, uh, we have somebody here from, from our city right here um, where I'm at. Like, look, so giving them a dream that they can do the same thing as well. So um, yeah, every, I tell you all the time, well, what I'm doing is much bigger than me. I love the game of football. That's, I mean, that, that's what I what I grew up loving. I was little, but uh, everything that that buys into it is way much way bigger than I am. Awesome, awesome, man. Thank sure. you so much. Yeah, that's, right. Thank I, I, that's all. I mean. yeah, we're thrilled to honor two young men out of Fortsmouth, Arkansas. Yeah. Um, they both play football at Northside High School. Went their separate way. One played at the University of Minnesota, Kansas State, and the other one. Uh, so we're very proud of them. And today we have declared this day, Trey Norwood Day in Portsmouth, Arkansas, as well as Keandre Thomas' Day in Portsmouth, Arkansas. It's very rare that a city gets an opportunity to celebrate in the course of one year a, an NBA player, uh, Isaiah and Joe, came from Portsmouth, Arkansas. And then two NFL draft draftees uh, that uh, Trey Norwood drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers and Keandre was drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So just uh, that in that, the, so such a small percentage of, of students that go to the college, college level go to the NFL. Can you just talk to a little bit about well, how proud you well, first of all, to have two from Fort Smith? I mean, simply the odds of getting a chance to play in the NFL. And the odds of being drafted in the, in the NFL are just simply astounding. And then the odds of getting two great young men come out of a city the size of Fort Smith, Arkansas, is incredible. And that's a testament to our city, a testament to our coaches at the high school level, a testament to our boys and girls club who provide them the first opportunities to participate in these kinds of sports. So again, it's, it's a testament to the kind of community we have and we can produce athletes that will play at the next level. The North Side's just built different, isn't it? <laughs> uh, they have a history of producing great athletes. Uh, they have a history of producing great students. Many of them may not play in sports, but you'll find them going off to become doctors, engineers, accountants. So we have a great history of producing top-notch students all across the board. Um, and uh, can you just talk to a little, a little bit about the Boys and Girls Club's part? And I mean, these, these young men were, were running around these Boys and Girls Clubs. And, I mean, I was as well. I was running around these Boys and Girls Clubs from a very early age. So I mean, I, I have a very fond memory of these boys. Can you just talk to a little? That's the little last question. Yeah, our Fortress Boys and Girls Club system is one of the best in the state. Uh, we have three clubs uh, where we provide all kinds of services for our young people. And the most, probably the most important thing about our boys and girls club is the tremendous volunteer base of men and women who give, give their time and energy to mentor, teach, and coach these young kids at an early age. Uh, we have many of our volunteer coaches that serve and given their time for 
20, 30, 40 years. Uh, so it's a testament to the Boys and Girls Club system that creates an environment where these young people can excel in sports, and not only sports academically. We provide opportunities for tutoring. We provide opportunities for you name it, uh, the, the arts. So we have a great Boys and Girls Club system that provides for our youth. So we're very proud. And so we get a chance to celebrate uh, two of them that have gone on to a professional level in football. Can we just real quick touch on the key to the city and just what that means? What, you know, we give, I give that key to the city and other mayors have given the key to the city. But it is what it is. It's a recognition that these young men have served this community well and help us highlight our community. And so with that key, we're saying to them, you're welcome back home anytime you need to come home. Certainly they may go live in Pittsburgh, they may go live in Cleveland, but we want them to know they're always welcome back to Fort Smith. I don't have anything else for you. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. Good. Can you just be mayor for the rest of my existence? Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. I like Easy this guy. To. I really like this guy. <laughs> you want to get these guys over here? Yeah, 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 yeah that'd be great. Yeah.